You're listening to CBC Online at cbchs.org. Three, two, one. CBC Online. It's Coach Scott Pingle and uh, Coach. You guys are riding high, six and zero, oh, but uh, got a big, uh, big test this week against Desmet. Uh, again, they have a couple losses, but those losses were some very big, uh, very big teams. Talk about this week's game, Coach. Yeah, it's definitely probably our biggest game of the year so far. Uh, anytime you play Desmet, it's a big rivalry game. The guys get excited. You don't have to worry about them getting up for this game. But you know they are coming off a little bit of a hiccup against Jeff City and, and Rockridge, so we know that their quality of opponents they played has been high high quality, high caliber teams. So you know they could be just as easy six and zero. So it's definitely two two guys going at it this week. But offensively, you guys seem to really be clicking. I mean, you're, you're scoring uh, just points like crazy. <laughs> you know, face. So let's talk about the offense first of all. You guys are being able to put in some plays. Your running game's been solid. Really opens up the pass too, doesn't that? It does. It does. You know, we're we're trying to be a little bit more balanced. Um, but, you know, I think we've had a little bit of success because we're starting to find our identity. But, you know, now we're going to be facing real high-quality defense. They're fast. They run all over the place. So, you know, our offense is definitely going to be challenged uh, to the highest degree this week. And, again, you got a couple players back last week. And Bert Birdsall we talked about and uh, Zach Tenier. But even players are stepping up. You know, a couple touchdowns from Connor Lamb at the fullback position. Marcus Weed, Corey Patterson. These are some names that may not have been on people's radar list, but they should. Yeah, definitely. You know, Kalen Taylor, a sophomore, has been playing well. Corey's been playing well at receiver along with Marcus. So, you know, we have a lot of people. If you go to our stat page, we don't have that one guy scoring a lot of touchdowns. we got a lot of people scoring. and You know, the ball is kind of getting dispersed uh, throughout, and I think everyone's pretty happy with their role. So when a team scores a lot of points and we got running backs going like crazy, it's got to point to one thing, your O-line. I know those guys don't get a lot of credit. You want to talk about your offensive line and what's going on there today? Yeah, we'll talk from right to left. you got Brian. Uh, Wallace at the right tackle. We got right guard John Chamberlain, who's a sophomore. You got center uh, Glennon McCrary, who's a little undersized, but doing a great job. And then on the left side of the ball, you know, you got Tim Gant and Ethan Suntrip and uh, Louis Martinez doing a great, great job. So those those five, six, now with Ethan getting healthy again, they've been doing a nice job. They're still learning and getting better, but. Uh, you know, we only had one returning starter, so they're getting better each week. But when you look at the, the type of gains you guys are breaking open, you know, 30-yard, 40-yard runs, I mean, that really, and the fact that your quarterback has some time to throw the ball really counts to uh, the quality of what those guys are doing up yeah, front. They're doing it. They're doing a great job. And each week they're getting a little bit better. They're hungry because they're young. They're still learning. They're still listening at practice. So, you know, that they're they're getting better each week, but they're still not where they could be as far as their – their quality of play. And you, we have to talk about your defense. You guys are obviously limiting points, limiting opportunities. Your third down, you guys are very strong on third down, fourth down. You know, talk about the defensive uh, identity. We kind of talked about it briefly, but boy, they're scoring points and they're making it tough on opponents. Definitely. You know, uh, Butch Dumbitz, again, I, I give him all the credit in the world. He's our defensive coordinator. He does a great, great job getting those guys motivated. Gives them a great game plan each week. And it's up to our linebackers and Burt Burt's all kind of in the back end to, to get everybody lined up, do the right thing. And uh, they've been playing at a high level. And you know, I'm not a dumb coach. I know that defense wins championships, so we're trying to lean on our defense a lot this year and, and see where they can take us. One thing that uh, I've noticed is just is the team just really seems to be gelling. you got a lot of guys uh, just coming together. And, you know, we see that every week at the postgame prayer. But talk about the chemistry of this team. I mean, this is a pretty special group. Yeah, they, they really get along well with each other. You know, you got leaders from all the way from sophomore up to – seniors being leaders so it's, it's kind of unique when you get young guys trying to lead with old guys and they're all accepting that no one really needs the spotlight or wants the spotlight we're, we're just trying to be the, the cadets and you know I think the guys are really buying into that and finally with this being a rivalry game how difficult is it uh, for you as a coach to keep everybody on an even keel I mean again you have this is one game in a series of 10 not the only game you have all year how difficult is that as a coach well it's difficult as a coach because you know I see the big picture I see this as one game of many the kids see it as definitely their big game so you know they're excited they're amped up so it's, it's you don't really ever want to downplay that because you know when they play at a high level and they're excited you just let them go with it and see what happens and uh, you know it should be a great game on Friday and you know that, that outcome has yet to be decided, but uh, it should be fun. And uh, our injury list, everybody clear, or you got anything you're working on this week? Turnier's a little banged up still. His ankle is giving a little bit of issue, but I think he should be fine. Good stuff. Again, that's uh, Coach Scott Pingle, CBC DeSmet. Doesn't get much bigger than that, folks. Friday night on the Connect Network. Uh, Coach, we'll catch, catch up with you next time. CBC, men for tomorrow, brothers for life.